In magic, the Loki effect occurs when a magician becomes hypercognizant of the steps and details of their practice. By focusing too closely on perfection and the impossible task of doing everything just right, the magician loses touch with the energy required to cast their spell. Indeed, perfectionism robs the magician of their attention and thus their energy. In this way, the idea of a perfect ritual becomes a black hole, insatiable in its thirst for immaculate workings. The wise magician knows that magic is as much an art as it is a science. While fundamental knowledge and intentional use of tools, symbols and actions are important, we must also make room for the unpredictable. Magic is alive and it must be treated as such. By allowing for mistakes, we paradoxically strengthen the life force of our work. As magicians, we let magic breathe and swim through reality while gracefully manipulating its boundaries in order to create focus. Magic flows, and we must flow with it. The Loki effect occurs when we resist magic by focusing on our mistakes. This leads to anxiety, and thus the birth of more mistakes, until finally we are no longer doing magic, but rather behaving like soulless, automated caricatures of our divine selves. In other words, by trying too hard to get it right, we inadvertently get it wrong. This does not mean we should be careless in our practices. Instead, rituals are built on balance. If we focus too closely on structure, we suffocate the flow of magic. On the other hand, too much flexibility leads to the disintegration of focus and intention. As magicians, we want to feel the energy coursing through us as we cast spells. The only way to do this is by allowing ourselves to be authentic and natural. Of course, we always go into our rituals with a mindful selection of steps, tools and symbols. We know our intention and we are prepared with some level of fundamental knowledge based on study. Then, if and when mistakes occur during the process, we let them fall upon the currents of magic like leaves on a stream. In magic, as in life, everything flows. When we understand this, we suddenly begin to have fun. In the beginning, we may find it difficult to trust the process. But should we continue to refine our craft through regular practice, we will soon learn how to both receive and release this miraculous force of nature. Above all, don't overthink it. Remember that magic responds to sincerity over seriousness. Sincerity is genuinely interested in being right here in the present moment. However, it understands that life behaves in unpredictable ways, and so it knows how to let go of its attachments. Seriousness, on the other hand, is deeply concerned that things will not work out as planned, and so it clings tightly to that which it cannot control. Before your next act of ritual magic, consider which of these two attitudes you would rather bring to the altar. Until next time, fellow explorers, stay curious, remain inspired, and continue to follow your higher selves. <laughs>